Okay, so I'm going to talk about the RTI process. RTI talks about response to intervention. That's what it stands for. And it is the process we use to identify struggling learners. So if there's a child within a classroom who is not performing up to par with their peers or we see some things missing, um, whether it's comprehension, whether it's math facts, and teachers have concerns, what happens is the first tier of this process, there are three levels to the tiers. Uh, the first tier is coming together with the teacher, the academic support coordinator, the student, and their parents or guardians to discuss what it is that they need to work on. So we would discuss the weaknesses and the strengths. At that meeting, an IAP would be created, the Individualized Achievement Plan, and that would be the first step in the RIT process. After 90 days, this plan will be revisited, the goals will be looked at, as, long, as well as the strategies that are used to meet these goals. If those goals have not been met or are not in progress, no progress has been made yet, then we revisit the goals and we would change them to make more progress. If the progress has been made and we feel confident that things are moving forward successfully, then you stay as is, those goals remain the same, and then it would be tier two. No, tier three. Tier three would be another 90 days later, and we would do the same process. Revisit the goals, check out if they're working or not. If they're not, go back and change them and move forward. If no progress has been made, then at that point, the same team of people, the teacher, the academic support coordinator, and the parent and the student would decide what the next steps would be. The next steps could possibly be to do um, some assessments outside of the school where we would um, in, solicit the help of Committee on Special Education, which is CSE, and they would do different types of evaluations to determine if the child has a learning disability. That would be 90 days later. So it's a three-tier process and it's reevaluated every 90 days by the academic support coordinator, the teachers, the student, and the parents. And in year one of TI? And in year one of TI, we will not have an academic support coordinator. And so it would be my job, along with the teachers, to hold these RTI sessions and create the individualized achievement plans. And RTI and IEP are universal. Everyone knows those acronyms. I believe so, yes, and CSE. But I, IAP, I, IAP is something unique? IAP is something unique, although schools have started to do these. The idea is that someone does not have to be classified or identified as a student with special needs to understand that they have needs. And every single student has needs. Even the best honor student in the world has things that they can work on. So the idea is to get students reaching their full potential. Um, IEP stands for Individualized Education Program, and those are created by CSE and a team of providers, school psychologists, teachers, social workers at times, a parent liaison, and the chairperson of Committee on Special Education, and whatever goals are made at that meeting, that document, are legally binding, so they're mandated services.